Let's see your outfit. Is that an outfit or shirt? The hat. It goes matches with the hat, with the uh, flag hat. Yeah, that's like an outfit. You hit the cough. I just needed y'all to see that. That's the uh, multicolored thing, the rainbow thing. And um, I just like to keep y'all abreast of how they do it. I like to keep y'all in bed. Still living with who? Still living with who? Who? Not in here, what you say? Brosis. Brosis? You still living with him? Who's that? Yeah? Who's that? You know who that is. You know who I Richard Brosis. Richard, he lives right on top of me. Uh, you're 2307, ain't yeah. you? Yeah. Right? Uh huh. Well, that's where he is. So he's breaking my balls. <laughs> I hear somebody there, they're breaking your balls. You said why? Is that who's breaking your balls down oh, there? Oh, constantly. You know, all kinds of things, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Just never stops or something. I don't know. He got real fat. Uh -huh. he got, he's got real heavy. He's about 300 pounds now. You ever hear him stomping? Ever hear him what? Stomping. Stomping. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you hear him because he's so heavy. Yeah. Yeah, he's 300. And here comes the target bag. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's like 300 pounds now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, my... <laughs> what did you say now? He wasn't, he wasn't that big before? No, no. Now he's real heavy. I don't know why. Maybe it's the medication he's taking. Uh -huh. It could be that. Sometimes when you take certain medication, it blows you yeah. like a balloon. Yeah, yeah. That's what he is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, there's Ruth with the orange. Huh? There's Ruth with the orange. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. That's not Bruce. Ruth, bro, bro. B R O. I don't want to know that thing. <laughs> All right, man, thanks, man. I'll talk to you, Joe. Three, please. Okay. You're tall. How tall are you? I don't know. I have to measure. You got to be over six five. How tall are you? Five five. That's good. I had a brother six four. I think you're taller than he was. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Me too. So that's the uh, demon letting me know. That's the how tall are you? The demon slides in. How tall are you? How tall are you? Oh, you tall? How tall are you? That's the demon. Um. And as far as Joe, the old man Joe, directly underneath me. I tell y'all all the time how he's down there fighting with them demons. They got him, again, probably the demon as well, got him to bump into me and tell me the name of the demon. I told y'all before I didn't want to know the name of the demon. I didn't want to know the name of the demon. He said it was about 300 pounds. I told y'all before how it wakes me up and stomping real heavy. It's a big, heavy person. 
And it wasn't big like that before. It didn't sound that big like that before. That's why I asked him. I said, oh, he wasn't always big? Uh, he said, no, it must be the medication. He wasn't always that big. Um, but he tried to spell it out for me at the end. That's giving me the name of it again. I told him, don't, I don't want to hear it. But um, could be the thing that's seeping into them. Could be they just, well, it probably is. It probably is, but they've always used him. Because um, he's right underneath me. But I hear him all the time down there with them demons. They're all through this building for sure. Told y'all how many times, how, how uh, plenty of older fellas that died on this floor since I've been here. And more so as of late, the last couple of years. Watch them falling by the wayside. The devil's a, the devil is not your friend. I don't know how many times I can say that. They were the biggest, well, he used them. It used them to the utmost. I'm not gonna say they were gangster stalkers now because they're dead. But he used them to the utmost, this demon spirit. And when it was ready, done with them, he got rid of them. But yeah, his job was to come down and tell me the name. If y'all, I don't, know, I don't think I put the video up yet. By the time y'all get this one, y'all will have gotten it because I'm trying to put them up chronologically in order. But um, yeah, in one of the videos, I talk about uh why um they gave the, the demon the name Mike because I didn't want the real name, the original name. I um, heard it and um, said, I'm, I'm going to put that out of my, my, my mind. I'm going to just call it Mike. And then I said, no, don't call it anything because you're not getting familiar with this thing. And you don't want to get familiar with it. Um, you heard that pop? You don't want to get familiar with it. And so, but it was too late. I had already said it. Next thing I knew, everybody's name was Mike around me to let me know that we already got the name. We are, that the name you want? That's the name we'll give it. And so, um, but they got that. And then he came down and tried to give me a name of it. Y'all saw. Anyway, I'm out. He's got the grumpy t-shirt on. I got it too late. He's got the grumpy t-shirt on.
This is the guy right here. You see the Phillies? This is the one they sit in front of me at the uh, library. That's the one they sit in front of me at the library. It's a ghost. I'm telling you, it's a ghost. See the Phillies? You see the royal blue bag? He sits next to me at the library and falls to sleep. Um, at the drop of a hat. And it's demonic. They he sat there before a few times. They use him like a ghost, or whatever. They use him to just sit there in front, uh, right next to me while I'm uh, on my laptop. Um, but then one day, they were able to make him just fall asleep. And I know it's demonic because they, they can make me do it. They make me do it all the time. Well, not all the time. Um, a lot, though, when they want to. Um, I can be sitting there waiting on something and wake up uh, 20, 30 minutes later and, and, and have no idea how I fell asleep. It's demonic. Um, and it's, the, uh, it's also a gesture of narcolepsy and, you know, all that sort of thing. This is not an, that's my license plate. This is not an accident either. This is the song I played in uh, in Bad Albie Green. That's in my Bad I'll Be Green uh, movie script. But also it's the uh, lonely gesture. It's the lonely gangster star victim gesture. I'm out. Mm -hmm. Hey, you. How are you? Oh, yeah. That's how it works.
Everybody around here is supposed to be loners. That's how it works. That's how gangsters talking works. <clears throat> it's a big time uh, outfit, man. Organization. This is how it works. There's another one. This is how it works, man. This is how it works. This is how it works. Let me get up, man. I'm out. It's your pebbles, Justin. P E B. I need you to avoid this out. What kind of cologne you got on, Jeremy? It's Lamborghini. Oh, Lamborghini. Yeah, I got it at the mall. Oh, you got it. Your girlfriend like it? I don't got one. Uh, you trying to get one for sure? Yeah. I see you working out. You was at the gym the other, not too long ago? Huh? Are you at the gym? What gym are you at? The, uh, the sporter. Um, oh, I went. A couple weeks ago, yeah. Yeah. I heard a giant. I, oh, you go to Giant. Yeah, I got a Giant Fitness. That's the one. Is that in, um, what do I mean? It's on Clemens, Clemens Bridge Road. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I went to East Road with my one friend one time. Yeah, I saw a couple of, you with a couple of guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, you work on it, work on it. Work on yourself and, um, you'll have that girl in no time, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. I was just out of one, well, uh, okay. I just got out of mine like a week ago. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, okay. Back on the market. I know that. Okay, that's the way. How long were y'all to go? Like a few months. It wasn't really long. Oh, yeah. Touch the that's item good, to purchase. Man. Yeah. Enter your rolls to place your rolls in the bag to 18. This is the grumpy t shirt. This is the grumpy t shirt. This is the grumpy t shirt. Let me get your cart, my man. Thank you. That's your grumpy t-shirt. That's your grumpy t-shirt while she laughed and smiled the whole time. They know what the deal is. Start getting this for y'all. As soon as I walk into uh, the Acme, there's going to be somebody at this this, this checkout right there with the Phillies cap on. With the Phillies cap on. That's every time I come in here. Every time. They're all over the place, but especially right there at that self checkout. Wild West. Wild West. I didn't get it at first. I didn't get it at first. I guess Wild West, I guess. And he gets to stand there and just let me get it.
told him to take that elevator. And um, I'll show you how they fired my phone up. Usually I can just take a picture of it. I'm going to show you how they fired my phone up. They got the witch and her client husband to take that elevator. They're on their way out. This is how it works. And I'm going my way out. They're all on their way out. Oh, let me see. And that's what they do. They don't want this camera to catch them passing because I'm going to catch it every time. They don't want the camera to catch them passing, so they're going to take that. They took that elevator today anyway. I think they took it yesterday, too. So that's the new thing. Don't go past this camera. Take the elevator down there. Try to catch my number, attention service desk 200. I also just had to talk to the kid. He's got the, I don't know what the thing is now. This 200. That's my code every time I'm at the admin. Um, attention service desk two, zero, one. I changed the number that time. Two zero one, not two zero zero. That's the first time they tried. They did that, but they're letting me know that I'm in my phone and I'm talking to them. But they got the kids putting um, very heavy deodorant. I mean, cologne on them. All of the boys, little kids, very heavy cologne. That's the new thing. That's the new thing. Um, Touch the item to purchase. They changed the number that time by one number. Enter your rolls to place your rolls in the bag to 18. Attention service desk. Two. Select Zero. item to void. Took the elevator down there. Why y'all switch elevators now? Y'all usually get on with me. No, no, I uh, had to go downstairs to the second floor to get something. And it was closer to that end. That's not the first time, it's like the second day now. Y'all usually get on with me. Uh, I was well, wondering I why y'all changed. Huh? I'm not, I'm just trying to do what's easy right now because I'm helping two apartments. I'm tired. I'm trying. I'm going to challenge these witches every time with this. We go all the way down to the other end. And the bench that they're going to sit on uh, this is another couch gesture. It's another sofa gesture. We go all the way down to the other end. And 
And that's what you gotta watch out for when you put the trash in. They appease the raccoons and everything. So that's what you gotta watch out for. Um, she gets off at the elevator down the other end. So she went down there. And the uh, exit door is right there. But they told her time it where she could almost bump into me um, as I'm leaving the mailroom area, the other entrance. She could have got it. She could have stayed. She walked all the way down the hallway to do that. They're getting a kick out of this, right, by the way, right now on my phone. She walks all the way down the other hallway to bump into me, not um, on the second, not on our floor, the third floor, to take the elevator down. It's the new, it was just the new gimmick is go down, all the way down the other end of the hall, of the hall, catch the elevator, catch him as he's taking the trash out. Bump into him there, but make sure you bump into him as you do daily. Yes, I'm the homeowner. Hello? Yes. Hello, are you the homeowner? Yes. Your average electricity bill more than hundred dollars? Um yeah. Okay, so I am going to transfer this call to my senior supervisor. He will guide you further. Can't you stay on the line? Okay. Yeah, thanks for holding on. My name is Kyle, the supervisor. How are you? What's up? All right, well, the reason of my call is this. We are providing regulations regarding solar. And you mentioned that you are the homeowner of a single family house, right? What do you want? What do you want? Uh, well, I don't want anything from you, sir. Well, basically, we are providing you this enforced regarding solar energy. Give me your phone so, number. Give me your phone number. I told you, they're all scams. That's the home gesture. And the ghost just hit something in my kitchen. To confirm. But that's the home gesture. The homeless gesture. They take your home gesture. Are you the homeowner? They can't do anything after that. It's just a prank call. I'm not supposed to... Um, I usually don't pick up, but I picked up. I wanted to play the game. I wanted to record it for y'all. This is one of their holidays. This is the Labor Day or something. One of these worldly holidays. So they really shouldn't be calling people, but it's a cultic gesture. And at the time I was thinking about something. But um, I just wanted to get that for y'all. See how they hung up? As soon as y'all know that, as soon as I bring up the phone number, they hang up.